63 years after his death, do you know what happened to Einstein's brain? The ending will shock you. Albert Einstein died in 1955, at the age of 76. But the surprise? His body was buried, but his brain? It embarked on a journey stranger than fiction. The pathologist who performed his autopsy, Thomas Harvey, decided without the family's permission to keep Einstein's brain because he thought the man's brain was so brilliant it deserved to be studied. So he cut his brain into 240 small pieces, preserved them in jars of formaldehyde, and then placed them in an apple box inside his personal closet. And the strangest thing? He spun these pieces around the world. He sent parts of them to researchers and kept others for decades. But why was his secret exposed? He wasn't put on trial. Instead, he was later rewarded by being rehired as a doctor, even though he lost his original job. And 63 years after Einstein's death, some of the pieces are still there. Parts of his brain are preserved in museums while others remain undisclosed. The end? Einstein's brain traveled farther than he did, transforming from a physiological organ into a legend roaming around in glass jars. Subscribe and activate the notifications button to receive the strangest information.